I'm ready when you guys are. My name is Talal. My name is Freya. My name is Natasha. I'm going to answer some of the most searched for questions about the environment. Can you remove carbon dioxide from the atmosphere? Yes, you can. There's the basic form of trees, which can sequester carbon dioxide, but there's now technologies that allows you to remove CO2 from the atmosphere. Those technologies are called direct air capture technologies. So these suck in atmospheric air and pull the CO2 out of the air. And then companies like us can sequester that CO2 and eliminate it permanently. A great question because we all want to know what we can do ourselves to help the environment. It starts with choice, making choices every day in your home or how you get around. Um, it doesn't have to be perfect. Small things can have an impact. For example, um, turning off the tap when you brush your teeth, turning off lights or um, switches at the wall. So we need to really make conscious decisions about what we do every day. At a big picture, you can make choices about what products you're buying, choosing brands that have um, good sustainability credentials and that can reduce carbon in their supply chain. Hmm. So I like to use an analogy of a kitchen sink. So imagine you have a kitchen sink, the tap is on, you've got the plug in and the sink is overflowing. Now imagine that sink is our planet, our atmosphere. The water is CO2 and the water is overflowing. So our planet has reached its limit for CO2 emissions. And what carbon negative means is pulling the plug, pulling some of that CO2 out of the atmosphere. That's how I would describe carbon negativity. How does construction impact the environment? Construction impacts the environment in many, many different ways. Within construction, we, we use a lot of different natural materials and we use those materials, mine them to make other materials. And all of that takes energy, resources, and we really need to measure and reduce the energy required to do this. I think firstly it's really important to set a benchmark and measure. So measure the processes, uh, measure your carbon footprint and then try and improve on that. If you don't know where you are to start with, how can you improve? Uh, what is the most polluting industry? A lot of times we think about polluting industries as traditional ones like heavy industry, using oil and gas in our cars and heating our homes. But actually there are other industries that use a lot of energy and create pollution. And one of them is the fashion industry. It actually has more carbon emissions than aviation. So we need to really think about how we make things and rethink the carbon in our supply chains. If we don't take action now, what will the climate be in 10 years? Obviously, we all know that this is a problem, but actually there's so many solutions that we need to highlight, we need to scale. And we're seeing that with the Airshot Prize. And I think the more optimism we have and the more energy we put into growing these solutions, hopefully in 10 years, then the, the planet will be a better place. I hope so, because um, we have to. There is no other option and we can't do it alone. So the only way we're going to fix climate change is by working together and throwing all solutions, all sustainable solutions at this problem, because it is bigger than one solution. And that's the only way we're gonna move the needle.